Hey friends, I am making a lower carb deep dish pizza and I thought I would pop on and share it for what's for dinner y'all, which is the open collaboration hosted by Kimmy over at Kimmy's Kitchen and more. So how I am making this is in my mixing bowl, I added one cup of almond flour. I'm also going to add a half a cup of coconut flour. I'm throwing in a teaspoon each of onion powder and garlic powder. And I'm also throwing in a tablespoon of some Italian seasoning. You can basically use whatever seasonings you like. So throw that in. And I'm also going to add in a teaspoon of baking powder. We will go ahead and mix that together. Mix, mix, mix. There we go. And then I'm going to add in three eggs. I already kind of lightly beat them a little bit. I'll throw that in there. Mix that around. Then, what I'm gonna do, you can do this by hand, but since I have a mixer, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my mixer, and then we're gonna be adding in a cup of boiling water. So, hold on. Okay, I went ahead and put the dough hook on my mixer. Like I said, you really don't need to use the mixer for this, but I'm just kind of in the mindset I have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on low and, and slowly add in one cup of boiling water. I won't make you listen. Okay, so that only took a few seconds to mix that together well. And I just sprayed a nine by 13 inch pan. And we're gonna go ahead and take this dough, plop it in there. And I'm gonna use a little piece of plastic wrap, which I'm about out of here. I'm, at, I'm literally at the end of the roll here. All right, let's see toy for Sammy. And I'm just going to go ahead and just mush this down into the pan as evenly as I can. I guess if you had a glove, you could use that. I've just always just grabbed a piece of plastic wrap. Then, after we get it all pressed down, We're going to bake it in a 350 degree oven for, I'm going to say about probably 20 minutes, 25 at the very most, but about 20 is going to be good. And then we'll put all the yummy toppings on. So yeah, it's a low carb crust. So. We'll go ahead and put this in the oven, 350 degrees, and I will be right back. Okay, so 19 minutes later, yeah, I looked in the oven and I thought, you know what, it looks good to me. You just gotta keep an eye on it. The edges are a little golden brown, not too overdone and not underdone. Perfect time for the toppings. So, gonna put on some a little bit of tomato sauce. I'm just gonna use this little can of Hunt's tomato sauce. It has basil, garlic, and oregano added to it. So I'm just gonna pour that on there. There we go. We went to an RV show yesterday, looked at RVs, it was fun, and they gave out um, full Chick-fil-A meals and it was so delicious. I love Chick-fil-A. Goodness. All right, then we'll put on the cheese. 
Now to keep it as low carb as possible, we wanna grate our own cheese because the cheese that's already grated does have a starch added to keep it from sticking. But if I had the already grated cheese, I would happily use it because I'm just going for lower carb. I'm not being um, too strict here. Then that's gonna be kind of a meat lovers, I guess. I have some ground beef that I browned up. We're gonna sprinkle some of that on there for a little extra. A little extra, extra. I'll use the rest of it for something else, but I thought that would be good. Have you ever had Nizza where you, like I do have a recipe on here for the chicken, ground chicken crust pizza, which is really good. I make that every so often. But also there's a Nizza recipe where you use ground beef, ground sausage, ground whatever as your base. That's really good too. And we're gonna throw on, of course, pepperoni because we love our pepperoni in this house. It's kind of gloomy out. We've just had such gloomy weather, but it's finally not, I don't know, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. <laughs> It was so cold. Some of our neighbors, their pipes burst. Um, these homes around here just really are not built for the extreme cold, freezing temperatures. I took too much out there. I don't know, is there such thing as too much pepperoni? I always feel like the more we put on it, the less you have to eat of the pizza and it'll last longer. Cause the less I have to cook, the better. And I always like red onion. My husband does not like it, but you know what? He can just take it off. It's It'll be fine. I will eat his for him. I can do that. I can make that happen. I can be that kind of friend. All right, hold on. I got a cough. I'm gonna add a little oregano to the top there. See, I don't know how to um, edit, as y'all know. Not a professional around here. We're just here having fun, enjoying our time together, sharing what we're having for dinner. And I'm gonna sprinkle. Usually I wait till after it bakes, but being that I find like coconut flour can be a little bit dry, I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit olive oil on before the cooking and then I might sprinkle a little more on after we shall see but let's see so now it's going to go back in the oven 350 degrees for probably another 20 minutes and I might broil the top if I want after but 20, 25 minutes is probably gonna be it. So I'll be back and show it to you. And it is ready. 20 minutes later, I did one minute under broil just to kind of brown up the cheese a little bit and it's ready. Let's go ahead and cut into it. Okay, let's go ahead and cut a little piece. I should let it sit for a minute, but too anxious, too hungry. Right, let's see. And there we go. A piece of deep dish, low carb pizza. Yummy, yummy. We're gonna go ahead and Sprinkle a little Parmesan on there. Oops, that was a lot of Parmesan, my bad. A little bit of some cayenne pepper. And yummy, yummy. 
yummy. Let's give it a try here. It's not the first time I made it, so I expect this to be good. You know, it's a low carb pizza. It's not, you know, a, a traditional dough. I like it. Okay, that's what's for dinner, y'all. What are you having? <laughs>